Hello and welcome to the Vishal Sharikas. We host Thomas Anderson and take visit Abigail Movit. Apparently, Tommy is in times two mode. What does that mean? Like you said that very fast. Oh, sorry. That's all right. I'm just making you... you aware of it. Okay. What have you been playing? Uh, I've just been playing some GTA Online this week. Oh, that sounds really good. Because I've been very busy with that. Uh, Excellent. What have you been doing? Work for school. Okay. Well, college slash uni work. Excellent. Thank Fantastic. you. How great are you? I've seen some of your pictures. They look really good. Thank you. <clears throat> what? Do you I'm just get? Because I'm deliberately speaking very quickly. All right. So anyway, other than that, what have you been playing? Nothing else. Okay. Tell us more about GTA Online. Uh, you doing women? For GTA Online, I think we've just been kind of just going through the missions again because literally that's all you let me do now. Is we can't, we don't even have time to like just like drive around. You just like right, pick a mission, pick a mission. Because mm, we need to get you to level forty three. So yeah, as the leader of the group, we have I am putting my foot down and I'm issuing um, order. Who said you were the leader of the group? The fact I'm level ninety nine. Um that's not fair. I'm also the chair. Who told you that? We agreed that three years ago. I don't remember that. Yeah, that's fine. It was you find you ago. find the True. audio clip of me agreeing to that. Look. I just said you're host and you're the tech wizard. Do you disagree? I have been bamboozled for three years. <laughs> <laughs> for three years I had <laughs> believed I was the co-host and now I find out I'm not. I'm just the constant special guest. Mm-hmm. Bamboozled. <laughs> It's like when you watch a TV show and it's a be special guest appearance by, but they're a regular character, like they're on yeah. every episode. Like uh, Guinan. Whoopi Goldberg in Star Trek. Oh, right. Whenever she's on it, she's the special guest, but she's in like 40 episodes or something. Yeah. I was really confused by that for a second. Yeah, you, you usually are confused by things. I've not watched Star Trek in over a week because I was going through it too fast. Mm-hmm. So I, I tried to, like, to watch some last night, but I just couldn't do it. No. I I instead watched um. What did I watch? TV. I watched a series and I can't remember what it was. I watched like every episode in like two days and I can't remember what it was. It's oh. a documentary about World War Two. No, I hate I hate documentaries about World War Two. I like video games about World War Two. Yeah, I think it was I watched so much as a kid, so many documentaries as a kid. I, I was like, I, I think I've got the gist of it now. You've got the gist of World War Two. I think I, I yeah. Okay, I've got the gist of what the war was, and it was a lot of shitty shitty, and there was guys in interesting uniforms. No, it's just it was just like one of those things that was like always on. Also, at my grandparents' house, my grandpa always used to watch uh, World War Two documentaries, so there was a lot of that going on. A lot of that World War Two going on. No, just a lot of war. Uh, it's it's like, uh, it's uh, it's like there's like that TikTok trend going around that all dads like to read about World War Two. It's like they've all they're all preparing for some mass trivia quiz on the events of World War Two. Or they're preparing for World War Three. <laughs> yeah, I was, I started watching Ducktales, the remake. I was telling about it before I was singing the theme tune to you. I'm not going to do it now because it's copyright, but... Copyright? Yeah. Copywritten? Copyrighted? Yeah. Copy I love it. I think it's really fun. There's, It's so funny. There's a moment it's like, you know, like, if, if anybody's ever watched it, um, so, like, you've got a character called Str Scrooge McDuck, who's Scottish. He's played by David Tennant. And stop pretending to play video games while I do this. Anyway, he's like, he's so like, he's obviously he's got a Scottish accent and he's like preparing for an interview and he's like, 
um, housekeeper is like trying to train him and to be like smiley and happy and things like that and he, she she calls her so Mr. Murdoch where exactly in Ireland are you from he's obviously from Scotland and he just I, I could not stop laughing at that because like that joke will have gone because it's like an American TV show and that would joke would have just gone over so many Americans heads mm, but, oh it was yeah. so funny Do you, but, to be oh, honest with you yeah. The, you know, they, they're probably Americans, most of all, to me, are people who don't have to worry about low flying objects because it's all going over their head. <laughs> Anywho, that's what I've been doing this week. Yeah, so GTA, I was playing a bit with you as well. We just did missions because we're trying to get you to level 43 because then you can get a decent gun and hopefully by that point your shooting skill will be good because at the minute we're still at the point where you're having to empty three magazines into someone to kill them. Yeah. Which is just not ergonomic. Uh, especially considering that I'm only having to use like a few rounds to kill them, somewhere in the region of three to ten, and you're at like sixty. Yeah. So it's it's we need to get you to that. That's why I'm focused on those. But after that, we can go and play golf and tennis and. Last time we and... played golf, I did a tantrum thing, and I was like, I don't want to play anymore because you were winning, and it was obviously you were gonna win, and there's like two holes left, and I'm like, I am not sitting through this being angry and finishing it so it's like can we just say you've won and eventually i think you got really annoyed at me and it's like fine i got annoyed because it meant that we didn't get the strength bit boost that you get from playing the sports games yeah but i was just i hadn't had a great day and that was just kind of like pushing me over the edge a little bit well we could have just agreed to hammer the ball everywhere in sundry and then both just you know, manufactured a draw. Because I didn't get the win, because we both quitted, so I, I didn't get it. We both quitted? We both quit, so I didn't get it. We both anyway, quitted. You've got enough money to buy a car, so that's I what we're sitting down to do. We're going to try and get you a nice, shiny, bulletproof car that goes very fast times. Yay! Because I'm special. <laughs> Uh, so you have to decide, um, I just got that email by the way, I just, um, we have to decide exactly what you are going to draw. Draw or buy? So yeah, exactly, what car are you going to dr draw out? Because it's bas that's what it is, basically, you, you, you buy it, but you're drawing the car from a big list of cars you can have. So you're going bulletproof or you're going performance? Bulletproof. Uh, I'd recommend bulletproof because it's more you know, utilitarian, but also the performance cars are like one and a half to four million. What kind of bulletproof? Is it a car like mine or you go in tank? Oh, I'll have to see what the tanks are like. I don't think you can have actual military hardware outside of certain buildings. Oh, as in I don't... oh, I thought you meant like, you know how they say some cars are built like a tank? No, 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 no. I an mean, actual an tank. Actual tank. You can have no, an actual tank. I don't want an actual. T <laughs> yeah. I'm just imagining driving a pink tank around. You can. I don't know if you can paint it pink. I'm just. I'm, I can, was just thinking that. You can buy the Batmobile. No. From the original 1989 movie. No. Use a. That's that's armored and it has guns. Um, I I remember back when I was dealing with the fourth member of our party who left. We are in. We were working out what vehicle I should get for our uh, crew. Yeah. Because I'm the one with the most money. So it's on me to buy the shiny car to make it easier. And uh, we went for military hardware rather than anything else. Right. Um, but obviously it doesn't really matter because there's only three of us now. Yeah. Although the decision was still sound, so I'll still get that. So what have you been playing this week? I played some of that with you. I played a couple of matches online of Halo 5 by myself, firefight stuff, just to get back into it, because I'm um, playing with uh, you know James and Hills yeah. and Samuel, and um, we we're going to be playing some custom, so I wanted to get some practice in. And I've been doing a lot, uh, bit of Assassin's Creed Syndicate with Mind Blooder, and uh, due to do some of that very shortly. And also been playing an awful lot of Gears 5 Horde mode, because okay. we're going to try a proper 50 wave horde at some point. I've got no idea what that means, but cool. See, I did I did it by myself on beginner and it took three hours and 27 minutes. 
So we're going to try it on advanced or um, something like that, maybe um, insanity difficulty, and yeah. try and do all 50 waves. But we're leveling up our characters first because basically what you can do is you can pick from different classes. Now, in Gears 4, it was five classes. Mm. In Gears, there's 19 in Gears 5. And um, it's only, I mean, there's there's a couple of extras they added, but it's really 15 core classes. And their utility, their uh, support, uh, soldier, and damage dealer, basically. So yeah. tank, so uh, soldier and support, tank, DPS and support, and the supports are like um, Hills is the medic, so he can heal people. That's his superpower. Mm -hmm. My normal ability as the um, robots expert or something like that, mechanical engineer or something. Uh, I'm the I'm the mechanic. I build turrets and fortifications really cheaply. Mm -hmm. So I build turrets and I build fortifications, like barriers, to slow them down. Yeah. Uh, James is our demolitions expert. He, he's the demolitions class, so he gets an artillery strike, mm -hmm. which is incredibly powerful. And Samuel's our resident moron. I don't know what class <laughs> he is. I don't know what it does. He's just running around being mental. I, I think if I'm being honest, his class is useless and we should try and persuade him to change <laughs> it. <laughs> but you also have a class level inside that. Yeah. And you unlock these cards. Okay. And the cards give you bonuses. Yeah. So I think Hills has a card which increases his Lancer damage by 60%. That's his main weapon. Um, I've got one that makes fortifications cheaper. So I currently get them at about 35% off. So yeah. I build the fortifications. I've got one that makes my fortifications 150% stronger. Yeah. And they do more damage and they're cheaper. That's the way I've gone. And... Um, We've been making. They've been making fun of me in good in good esteem, good sport, but they've been making fun of me. Uh, good hearted, that's what it is. Um, because I keep saying, "Give me money! Don't anybody build turrets? I get them cheaper. Give me money! Give me all the money to build turrets." And I'm right because the turrets are the single biggest advantage you can have against most enemies. Uh, the only issue is that I sound like a maniac, so they started making fun of me by constantly reminding each other oh by the way guys put the money in and then like 10 seconds later by the way guys uh put the money in yeah and it just like constantly saying it and then, and then laughing and then we came to this uh idea samuel posited, posited the idea that i have a um unhealthy fascination with turrets <laughs> and that's why i'm constantly going on about asking for turrets can you stop doing that with your mouth She's she's pretending to laugh so that I can see her pretending to laugh. She looks a little bit like the Joker, actually. But she's not making any noise, so you can't hear it. So I just sound like I've lost my mind. Can you please stop doing that? <laughs> like, I actually, if you're laughing now, I can't hear it. <laughs> you told me I had to sit further away from the microphone, so that's what I was doing. Yeah, but you can't whisper your laughs. Like <laughs> I wasn't whispering my laughs. I'm actually laughing. No, I was. Right, I was. We'll I was looking at myself. Night, I was looking at myself in the camera because I, I was trying to make myself look like a, a ventriloquist dummy by going, like lifting my eyebrows up really high, and just moving my mouth up and down. Oh, have you ever seen um, Kira Knightley's acting technique? No. <laughs> Very funny. You are the worst man I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. That's like it every movie like, she's in. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it literally in 10 seconds she's about to go... <laughs> <laughs> like Bruce Forsyth. Yeah, it's just the way that she thrusts her bottom jaw forward and then sort of like pouts with her mouth open. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's what I do when I'm going to go, Hello, how are you, you pretty woman? <laughs> I don't understand why. Yeah. Oh, anyway, you were saying... Um, so yeah, we've been doing that and we've been preparing to do a proper 50 wave yeah. um, and we're going to play some Halo 5 custom and it's just sort of getting that set up. Um, so I've been doing a lot of that by myself um, to get my rank up as high as possible because without rubbing it in, as I said, my turrets are the single biggest advantage anybody brings to the table. That's why I went an engineer because there wasn't one already in the team when I joined it. So I thought, right, I'll go the engineer um, because that's the biggest advantage. Um, so for example, my stats are from a combination of playing with the AI and playing with people. I've been a part of games in which two and a half thousand enemies have been killed and I've killed one and a half thousand of them. Yeah. 
and that's in a team of five, I've got three fifths of the kills because my turrets count as kills that I've. All right, that's pretty got. neat. So that's why they're the biggest single advantage you can get. Yeah. Anyway, um, stories. I love it. I don't know why. I just love it. But yes, we are moving on to a story. I've got a quick story before you do your story, if that's okay. Be quick, please. So any fans of The Last of Us, I only found this out a couple of days ago. Apparently they're making a la- The Last of Us series. And they have now cast Pedro Pascal of The Mandalorian fame and Bella Ramsey of Game of Thrones fame slash Worst Witch fame as the two main stars. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... And I'm desperately trying to remember what the name of the guy is. It's Nathan? Nathan. It's not Nathan. Anyway, really, it doesn't matter. Don't look it up. You just end Joel. up ruining... Joel. Joel. Oh, I, I just blanked on his name there. Sorry. So, uh, Pedro's going to be playing Joel and Bella's going to be playing Ellie. Okay. And I am super excited about this. Why? Because I think Pedro uh, Pedro Pascal's a really good actor and so is uh, Bella Ramsey. Okay. Anybody that ever you watched Game of Thrones knows... Game? I've never played the game, but I've watched a game playthrough of it, and I've also... I've not seen it. I've not played it either, so no spoilers, please. I'm not giving you any spoilers. I, I won't give spoilers away, but it's... Re- it's Oh, it's it's just lovely. Like, it's... A, I mean, it's... A, do you, can I tell you what the, the, base, the base premise of it is? Oh, there's a, it's basically zombie apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's and like, so it's going to be grim. immune... There's a young girl who's immune yeah. and there's an older guy looking after her. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's all lovely. But he can be infected. So he's constantly having to put on gas masks and stuff where she's fine. Don't know if that's part of it, to the best of my knowledge. But um, it's it's really... it's. I mean, it's sad because it's a zombie apocalypse thing. So it's not going to be a happy-go-lucky film. A happy-go-lucky game, game. slash yeah. series. But yeah. It's still good. Oh god, it's so good, and that's the game I went to see the exhibition of. Remember, what? I went to the V and A. So CD Projekt Red yes. have been hacked. Yes, they have been hacked. Uh, and it's known a game of football. And the uh, the people who did the hacking have stolen the stuff, and they have sold it next by. <laughs> Stolen the stuff. No, because I sent the story to you a few days ago, but then it changed. It developed. They stole some source code for The Witcher 3, Thronebreaker, CD Projekt Red, and a different version of The Witcher 3 that was ray traced or something like that, as well as other documents uh, belonging to CD Projekt Red. And they sold them or no this was interesting is that they released on twitter that they had been sold after being auctioned off but i don't really remember like is that what happens with like big big drug deals now where bank robberies or you know if somebody steals a piece of art they post on twitter that they've sold it like it's a wee bit confusing to me that they posted on twitter that the information had been sold at auction yeah but um yeah, it's, uh, it was interesting. Mm. But uh, yeah, so that's the information that they sold. Uh, apparently, I think it was sold for seven million. Jeez, oh. They started the bidding at one and said there was a buy now at seven. And then the buyer said, please stop advertising what, what's happened. So they said, we've sold it. And now we're not going to talk about it anymore. Um, could be that CD Projekt Red bought it back. Could be that um, the some sort of investigatory yeah. Um, outfit bought it back under a guise but could be it was just sold to other parties but the issue is if any if that ever appears anywhere like if you if the if the next Star Wars game comes out from EA and it's suddenly got all this code from from the <laughs> CD from Cyberpunk and The Witcher 3 that's not going to go down so I'm not entirely sure Who's unless they it? hope to hack the game for personal reasons or they hope to, you know, there's just a millionaire buying the code yeah. for a laugh. I feel or if like they're that's... going to give it back. Or maybe it's people who want to be able to break the game again in the future. Quite possibly. But yeah, that's what's happened. It's been stolen and sold. Yes. 
So that is all the stories we have for you today, I believe. Unless yes, you've got is. any secret ones, no? I do not have secret stories. That's good. So we hope you guys have enjoyed your heart today. Please leave a yes. comment down below if you want to. Or you can email us at overshadow.shadowcast at gmail.com. You can like this video. You can hit the notification bell for when we upload. You can subscribe to the channel. You can subscribe to the channel. And you can share it with your friends and enemies alike. And you can find us on Facebook at overshadow.shadowcast. Well, at the I moment, thought I'd change it up. In, 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 in the moment, I've realized that the... Um... Then it's me, you, I think my brother listens, and I think it's James. I think this is mostly an audio log to James. <laughs> Hi, James. <laughs> Hi, James. Hi, James. <laughs> How you doing? Hello. Um, but Reply that's down below. I realised that one of the benefits of having absolutely, you know, comparatively speaking, no one listening other than James and sometimes my brother, is that um, we're able to just play about with what we're doing to the point where we're doing what we want. And so if anybody ever does listen and likes it, we don't have to keep doing something that we don't actually enjoy. Yeah. We've not done things to get viewers. We're just doing what we want to do. So that's nice. Anyway, I'm going to go away now. Stop playing with your hair. Ladies and gentlemen, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Madame et messieurs, au revoir. Bye-bye.